quiet for a minute I've been grinding still in it I've been counting these digits Excuse me I know I've been quiet for a minute But I'm back on my business If you see me don't trip just excuse me Wrong if I do, wrong if I don't That's why I do me no matter what so Excuse me Lie if I do, lie if I don't The proof is in the story, take a seat and excuse me The crash came when the cash came Spend it for you, get it like those rookies all on draft day For the love like it's match game Hit the ground running, really do it for my last name They act different when the facts change I'm not with the tip attack games In my own league, I don't chase game In my own league, I don't hit with lanes Hey y'all, hey y'all, hey, welcome back y'all. Y'all already know, we can ready to get into a quick video. I've been gone for a couple of days, but y'all already know, I told y'all, I'm coming back. I'm not going to leave y'all for long, maybe a week. That's at the most, and then your girl's going to be back up on here on the camera. But I do do things in my real life, all right? Um, so look, Jasmine decided to come up on here in black screen, okay? In black screen. Now... Jasmine didn't want us to basically see that most likely the reason why she's over there depressed and all of that is because um, she over there worried about Chris. Now, this is what gets me. We never hear her say anything about Chris. Never hear her say anything. But the minute Phil does one thing or says one thing to her out of the way, she come up here on camera and blast them. Not only will she blast his business, but she will blast Hannah's business as well. But then says that she minds her business. No, you don't mind your business. No, you don't. When you came up on here and you was talking about him and Hannah, a little quarrel that they had and all of that, um, you spread their business. There was no reason for you to do that. And I'm pretty sure that Philip corrected you. But really, who should have corrected you is Hannah. A couple weeks ago, Jasmine, you were channelless. All right. And you had all of these different things that you said you were going to do when you decided to come back up on here. You was going to change your content. You was going to put more eggs in each basket, such as TikTok, Instagram, you know, all, all different social media websites. That's what you were going to do. You had your plan all made up. So my thing is this, Jasmine, what happened to your plan? Okay, because see, the longer that you stay off of YouTube, I don't know, let me put y'all down. The longer that you stay off of YouTube, you start to get out of the algorithm. When you hide your channel, you start to get out of the algorithm. You got to catch up because you're out of what? The algorithm. And Jasmine knows this. Jasmine is telling y'all lie after lie, oh, well, um, they blocking me. They shadow blocking me. No, baby. No, uh-uh. YouTube is not blocking you. <laughs> you do not have a shadow ban. Uh-huh. Just like the lady said, your channel went to sleep. Yeah. But the other part that is affecting you, Jasmine, is I told you this day was going to come. I told you. I said it to you multiple times in multiple videos that people are going to get tired of your content. People are going to get tired of the need where you feel like the world owes you something. People are going to get tired of you coming up on here begging. They're going to get tired. People are tired of only seeing Legendary be treated like he is a king or something. They're tired of it. I know his name is King, but yeah, they're tired of it. Now, you over there, you're supposed to be in so much of a shambles, all right, that you aren't making any videos. But when it gets closer to the holidays, what you are going to do is you're going to lie. And what you are going to say is the fact that Oh, well, my subscribers told me, you know, to go ahead and post a wish list. I think I'm going to do that. That's what you're going to come up here and say uh -huh, and beg. That's what you're going to do. Okay. So my thing is, is that when Christmas comes and holidays and birthdays and you can't put no money out, uh -huh, um, thank yourself for it. Because remember, you were over there in the dark. Uh, talking about um, you didn't know what you were going to do for Legendary's birthday. You got to pick up the other kids or should he do it all by himself? Girl, I absolutely agree with Philip. The reason that you're upset is because, yeah, you're not getting no attention from Chris. Chris not even worried about, you know what I mean, that it's his birthday. He could care less. All right. Um, 
what you better do because you seem like you ain't got no money. All right, because you made a big deal about getting your daughter a dress for her party at school. You said you did not want to spend your money on her dress. But you told us that when your, when your child got taken down, oh my God, it's about having memories and I had everything on there and some of the videos I can't get back. It's all about the memories. Yeah, same thing with your daughter going to the dance, dodo bird. It's all about the memories. But see, the problem is, is the fact that you can't pay attention to your daughter dance because you're more worried about uh, uh, Stink of a Baby Hellraiser's birthday. All right, what you better do is you don't have no money. What you better do is because we already know that Chris ain't going to do nothing. But yeah, we don't hear you saying nothing about what Chris doing, if Chris having a party or whatever. All we hear about is what Philip is saying to you and how that really, really hurts your feelings and how you feel like you want to cry. Girl, you better go and get get a baby hell razor, a goddamn butterscotch crimpin cake and put a, a candle in there, whatever, two, three, whatever old the child is and keep it moving. That's what you better do. And my thing is this. Why do you keep having the need to come up on here and tell us, you know, about, oh, well, I'm going to take a break and I just wanted to let you guys know, Jasmine, we don't care if you take a 10 year break. We don't care. That's the thing. That's why nobody is watching your videos, Jasmine. Again, you're not shadow black band. No one is watching you at all. And I've been told you, I said, yep, that one of these days, you ain't going to be able to get the views that you got and look exactly what happened. What I don't understand, again, is that you say you hate Philip and you know what I mean and all of these different things. But my thing is, how are you overwhelmed? Because you said that you are overwhelmed. Um, you don't take your kids on um, trips at school because Hannah was doing that. It's not like you keep up with their regular doctor's appointments. It's not like you are some stay-at-home mom that's on 100 and making sure that child got everything. No. And I agree with Philip. The reason why you were so irritated and you are so upset is because Chris left you. Yeah, a woman scorned. You can tell you are still mad about that. What are you overwhelmed with? What are you overwhelmed with? What are you overwhelmed with? Now... It's going to go into the next month and weeks and weeks because Christmas and everything is getting ready to happen. What I don't understand as well, Jasmine, when you didn't have a channel, you said, oh my God, I got so many sponsorships to do. Sponsor, sponsor, sponsor. Where's the sponsorships? Where are they? Because you said you had a lot to do. So if you had a lot to do, then why are you sitting over there in the dark? talking to us that we don't really care what you got to say. We just listening to you be the dummy that you are. That's all we're doing. We're listening to you because we're bored and we're listening to you be the dummy that you are. Now, you know, you got all these different types of bills. You got rent, you got gas and electric, you got car insurance. I don't know. You might have a car payment on that truck. I don't know. I would pray to God that you don't because that's a historical vehicle. <laughs> yes, it, yeah. I would pray that you don't have no, um, no payment on that. I, I really would, okay? I mean, you're going on and on and on and on. Is Chris worried about the baby birthday? No. You're the only one worried about baby hell raise a birthday. Like I said, go get a butterscotch crimpet, put a candle in it or two, and, and keep it moving. I mean, for real, you are absolutely ridiculous. So with that being said, y'all, I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Later.